Paul Thompson from the IMF, you gave a lecture here tonight on uh, Europe. Um, the first question that I would like to ask you is, um, are we heading for a recession in uh, Europe? No, I don't think we are. Actually, I think we are seeing uh, a gradual recovery, or we will see a gradual recovery. I think what we saw last year will prove largely to be temporary. I don't think we're going to get quite back to the very strong economy that we saw in, 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 in 17, but I think we are going to go back to decent uh, growth rate, enough to, uh, to keep the economy uh, sort of close to full, full, full capacity. You express your uh, being in favor of a central fiscal uh, capacity, for sort of a dampening fac facility for Europe. What does that mean? Well, it means that in a currency union where monetary policy can only react to general shocks that affect the, ho the, whole, the whole currency union, that uh, it would be good to have a facility that is assured in, against uh, sort of individual uh, risk, risk that it faces in, in individual uh, country. That would sort of reduce the welfare cost uh, over the long run of participating in such, in such uh, a currency union. But we recognize also that that risk sharing will trigger concern that it, that it, will, that it will involve one-way transfers. So one would have to only uh, introduce that if at the same time is risk reduction. And the risk reduction is, in our view, uh, uh, that, that countries should comply with the fiscal compact. Uh, so you can... Which, which they don't. Some, some do. Many do. A few have struggled uh, uh, with it. And hopefully this kind of, uh, of arrangement would then be an incentive for better compliance with the fiscal compact. Then there's also the discussion about uh, deposit insurance, which also means risk sharing. And, uh, you know, German Sparkassen are afraid that they should uh, waste their money somewhere in some southern European country. Of course, not in Denmark, but uh, that is pretty difficult for them to, to swallow. Well, I think here again, we think that uh, common deposit insurance uh, is, is necessary to have a uh, to complete a banking uh, union, uh, to have banking without borders, if you want, and banking without borders would have mutual benefit for everybody in uh, in in uh, involved. But again, we recognise that this risk sharing that comes with deposit insurance must go hand in hand with risk reduction, and. Uh, 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 so we need to discuss what does that mean, and we we'll need to have a quantified plan for this. But it's not just about risk sharing, it's also about risk reduction. Um, Germany is always under pressure from the IMF and uh, from other countries concerning uh, its spending policies. For example, uh, what you say is Germany has a fiscal space that is a nice way of saying spend more. What, why exactly would you want us to do that? Because I think Germany has a, long, a, a number of structural challenges. You know, digitalization, for instance, uh, it's, uh, that, uh, you know, it has low productivity. Actually, German, and, and it has you know, demographic headwinds. Uh, a number of issues that need to be, structural issues that need to be solved in order to boost long-term growth. Some of these will obviously not entail a fiscal cost, but some of them will. And Germany has ample fiscal space to start addressing these problems. So I very much welcome, actually, that there's this debate in Germany about you know, digitalization, the future of the car industry. So Germany simply, definitely can, can, can afford to, uh, to put money behind uh, policies uh, in, in these areas. Provided that we pro do the right policies. <laughs> um, the next question is also on the current account uh, surplus that we are having. We're slowly coming down from 8% uh, to like 7.5 or something like that. Uh, but you don't advise us to be as high as that. Why is that? Uh, because it's a short of global Im Im imbalances. It's not good for Germany. It's just a, it's a reflection of that Germany spent too little. Germany should uh, uh, spend uh, more. Our proposals uh, for, uh, uh, for on fiscal policy will help, but I think in particular uh, we hope to see stronger wage increases in Germany. 
Germany has to understand that these large current account surplus is a major source of tension. It is becoming also a source, one of the, one of the reasons that there are uh, trade tensions. So I, I think it should be a political priority to, to bring it down. But uh, is the IMF now suddenly backing trade unions and saying, you know, uh, wages should go up? Well, uh, uh, the IMF is indeed saying that uh, uh, given, the, given the strengths of, 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 uh, of the German labor market, uh, given the size of the current account surplus, it would be good to get some wage increases. Look, in the old days, if it was such a strong current account, there would have been an appreciation of, 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 of the German mark, and everybody would have been better off, been higher income because of, of the stronger mark. That, that, that increase in income will now have to take place instead through higher wages. So there's nothing wrong with that. This is just a reflection of the strengths of the economy and that everybody needs to share in that. Thank you very much. Uh, well, you're very welcome.